Hello YouTube, Katie Hill Farmer coming back with another vlog on a wet Saturday morning. Uh, this stay at home, and which I love it, getting, I don't care to go many places anyhow, but anyhow, today I wanted to do a vlog on the compact tractors, whether it be John Deere, Kubota, Massey, New Holland, all that stuff. But uh, I think there is one tool that if you are a tractor owner, you definitely, definitely got to have. And it's not an expensive tool. It will be in the description. But before we get into the video, guys, uh, if you like what you see and uh, you like farm content, tractor content, chainsaw tools, you name it. Uh, Baz, I hate to say this word, a little bit of gun, scopes hunting all that stuff guys we do it on here and i want to thank everybody that has subscribed and also go check out the facebook page twitter and instagram at katie hill farmer okay with that being said guys let's get into the video uh if you don't know i have a john deere 2030 r i run a uh registered can registered can registered angus uh cattle on my farm we have about 15 acres of pasture and right now i got 10 head on there but uh five cows four four calves and one bull uh bull will be leaving will be a heifer leaving uh so we'll go back down to five and so i may go down to four i want to see what the pasture does but anyhow Let's get into the video. When I bought my John Deere 30, 2038R tractor, uh, I got it for the best of both worlds. And there's one thing I quickly realized, and that is you have to do a bunch of tightening with, as you can see down here, which my tractor is filthy right now from feeding hay. But you got a nut right there. You got a jam nut right there. You got a jam nut right there, which that son of a gun, if you don't tighten it, will come loose. Uh, just all kinds of bolts on this. You have a bolt right here that on your loader that likes to come loose. You know, just a whole bunch of things. Well, you know, when I, when we all go do something, we're all stressed for time usually, and you know, so be it. But I, I kind of wanted to get myself, and I don't know if you can see it or not. I've used channel locks gridded this up and all so on and so forth so i started looking online and uh, a regular crescent wrench would not do it for me because it wouldn't open up wide enough and then i found this it's a six inch it's made by channel lock it's a six wcb and it opens up uh what is that it, it goes by millimeters but let's get a tape measure i got one right here let's open it all the way up and this thing opens up to one and a half inches so that's pretty good now let me go grab another one uh crescent wrench i believe i have one over here i'll just take you along to stop in the video let's walk over here and We'll just find, yeah, here's a eight inch crescent wrench. So let's open it up. That's just, that's open. This is a proto. Now, it opens up to just a little over an inch. So with that being said, here's the proto. Look, can't get on that. I don't even know. Yeah, you ain't gonna get on this one either. Just too short. Now you can get that one, but what you run into a lot of the times is getting your wrench by your tire. So it, it becomes a pain in the butt. So what I found was this one. And I, I like the, the jaws on it. They measure to your flat about what inch and an eighth and these measure just right at an inch but it just look at the comparison compared to them guys 
But uh, with this wrench right here, like I said, it's adjustable. You can fit your third link bolt good, give it a snug. Then you can go down here, adjust it up to this one, give it a snug, which I ain't gonna snug it because I need to raise it up. And it's easier to get down here by your tire and adjust that one. Like I said, with that being said, this little wrench is just a real, real nice handy deal to have. And it actually fits in your box of your tractor very nicely without the clutter and clunk. Now, like I've shared you earlier in the video, you have a uh, bolt right here. It does like to come loose. Now, <laughs> I used to use that. I did cheat. I keep a ratchet wrench in there now <laughs> because it's just so often that it does it. And what is that? It is a 13 millimeter and you just got to check them every once in a while. Which that one right there don't give me fits. And I've done a video on this before. It's usually this one over here it gives me fits. Let's see if it's loose. Oops, wrong size. And it is. That's going the wrong way with it, but it is loose. Snugged it up there, but yeah, the channel lock six inch. Like I said. It's nice because it opens up all the way and uh it's just a nice little handy thing to have in your toolbox like that fits right in there with all your pins i won't take actually take my channel locks out and i do got some other crescent wrenches in there and what some broken plugs and all that good stuff but uh yeah guys i really like that tool it really makes a job on your compact tractor 10 times easier and i will link it below in uh on amazon not getting paid to say this like i said i bought this just a nice little overall like i said it'll fit any from what i've seen so far any bolt on this tractor so uh like i said i i like the long jaws to see sometimes this up here it'll kind of get snug on you with that long jaw you can you know loose it up do whatever you need to do but uh i'm gonna say this is gonna be for all your compact tractors because you know uh i'm not owned well, i take it back i have owned a kubota but i didn't do as much with it as i have this john deere uh to give you a little backstory this is the only tractor on this farm we do have a side by side uh but it has fed hay all winter that's why it is extremely muddy right now but uh actually got a yeah, that's a four by three that's a four by four on back of the tractor right now uh there is one thing i am going to do to the tractor is i will probably end up getting a gauge and i want to test the hydraulic pressure on it because i think it's lacking a little bit uh other than that it's been a really good tractor like I said, that little crescent wrench right there just saves you so much time when it comes to tightening up uh, the third finger or uh, level adjustment on your three-point hitch. And like I said, uh, your brush hog, you know, whatever, guys. It's just so handy to have. But uh, anyhow, thanks for watching. Like I said, thanks to all the subscribers that have subscribed. It's meant a lot. To me in the channel uh we <clears throat> we have been doing a giveaway i don't i ain't looked at it for a while but everybody at comments i just want to say thanks it's so much appreciated uh i don't think a lot of people realize when you uh, when you're doing a little video like this it, it's not too bad but when you're you know working the cattle so on and so forth uh you know it does take a little bit extra time to go through and you know record and all that good stuff but uh also if you like i said if, if you want to check out the playlist check them out guys there's a bunch on the 2038r tractor uh you guys can comment below i thought about doing one 
I just hate to because I don't think there'd be any liability, but how to disable the, which mine is disabled on my tractor, the reverse. Uh, these tractors, when you hit them in reverse, unless you hold your button on your motor deck, it will shut off. And with a 2038R, you can go in there, go in there and, uh, sorry, I'm, Sorry, I'm listening to, uh, like I said, I run the fire department and with all this COV, COV ID 19 going around, uh, if it's kind of in our area, we have to uh, go assist as far as we have suits or our SCBAs or whatever, but anyhow, and of course you have to decon after that but uh hey guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there thanks for watching we'll talk to you later katie hill farmers out everybody have a great week stay safe